T-shirts are here. Ah, uh, this is what they look like. They turned out really well. I'm really excited, but at the same time, I'm a little nervous as well because I didn't expect it to be in two huge boxes. It's it looks like a lot of stuff. I'm still waiting for the washi tapes to come in, so I don't know yet. Um, the exact date of the shop update, but it should be sometime end of October and There's still a lot that we need to do to prepare for this shop update So hopefully I can show you guys in another vlog, but yeah, so excited We need to check all of these and fold them I'm going to work on this week's spread in my planner, but I wanted to show you guys this month's Happy Mail sticker. The theme this month is workout. So this is the postcard and then this is the sticker, which is a clear sticker. I'm trying to focus more on being healthy and active and so I thought this was a very um, relevant theme to my life. But also, I understand that not everyone is working towards the same goal as me. So that's why I designed this sticker to kind of just cheer you on for whatever you're working towards. I guess it's also just for myself. I, I need this little encouragement and I, I kind of felt happy sticking this in this week's spread. So yeah, if you're interested, you can check out my Patreon this month. <music> Into the times of midnight, seems slow, but. 
my journals for next year. I'm going to make a different video about them but one of them I'm going to use as my work journal. Since last year I was keeping these little notebooks where I write down things every month that happened in my art journey. The reason I started doing this was because there are times when I was feeling lost and down about where I was going with my art and work. So in early 2018 I came to Japan and at the time, I was freelancing as a graphic designer, but I was hoping that maybe one day I can work on art 
full time. At the time, I thought that the way to do that was to concentrate on growing my Instagram account. So in the beginning, I had about 20k followers when I came to Japan. And by the end of that year, I think I reached 80k. And I was really lucky, I think. That was a big number for me. Actually, it, it was way more than I expected to reach. But after reaching that number, I realized that the number of followers doesn't mean that my income was also going to go up proportionally. I wasn't really earning much more than before, to be honest. And then I felt really lost and kind of down. I realized that I was caring too much about external factors like likes and follows and I was comparing myself against all these amazing artists who were getting all these great opportunities. So in 2020, I started writing down things that I accomplished each month. I try to write down when I did something that I'm proud of, whether it's something small like working on my website or maybe releasing a new product that I've been wanting to make for a long time. Whether they were received well or not, I want to be proud of them. I do write down numbers and external accomplishments as well because this is my job and at the end of the day, I do have to be realistic and care about it to some degree. Sometimes when things are going slow externally, like maybe Instagram is being slow, maybe sales are slow, I start to feel like I'm not doing well and it really helps to have different types of things in here that I can look back on and feel a sense of progression like I'm not just sitting around doing nothing. So anyway I'm thinking of moving these into a bigger notebook so that I don't have to keep so many little books and recently I received some sweet letters from my patrons and I want to put them in here as well. I'm also inspired by my friend Kyla. She has a work journal where she writes down all her dreams and struggles and it's so inspiring when she shares what she wrote on her Instagram stories because I see that she's worked hard to reach those dreams. So I'm, I'm thinking maybe I can do a little bit more writing in here as well. Yeah, let's open it. I'm not sure if you could tell because it's very subtle, but this book is divided into kind of four sections with different colored grids. So I'm thinking maybe this will last four years, one year per each color. And yeah, I'm thinking that I can transfer all the info into here now so I can start using this one from this year. Physical symptoms, 
but as I was editing, I found these random musings and unfiltered framework of my pregnancy. I actually felt my baby kick a week ago, I want to say. Pregnant, like, people kind of treat you differently. <laughs> like, you can't really hang. So people feel weird asking about the baby. We're black, I feel the sound. 